From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Michael Fish. Uh, thanks for being with us tonight. Maybe a couple people out doing the celebratory hunting, post hunting thing, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that. Hopefully you enjoyed the day of hunters. Hopefully you uh, uh, got the big one, of course. Uh, not a bad day temperature wise. I don't know if it helped the deer. I'm not a deer hunting pro. It did make it to 52 in Green Bay, 53 Fond du Lac and Oshkosh out there. Now, here's the thing. Let's go back a year, kind of compare the two. Now, last opening day, this was last year, we had cloudy skies around here, a little bit of patchy fog, no snow. It was 27 degrees at sunrise, 42 in the afternoon. So we were a lot warmer today. I don't know if that helped you or hindered the hunt, whatever. But now I'm going to look a little bit further from hunting right now. We're going into the middle of this upcoming week because, of course, that's Thanksgiving. And look at this. Quiet. Now, look at the whole country. Maybe this is going to be one of your travel days. It looks like the Pacific Northwest, they're going to see a few problems. A little mountain snow, some rain on the coast, not uncommon for them. And then a little bit of shower activity in far southern Texas. Most of the country quiet. Now, let's go after Thanksgiving. Now, we're going to have kind of an active storm track here, but... We may have just enough dry air to keep a lot of the storminess away from us in the center of the country, seeing some unsettled conditions. We'll keep you updated, of course, as this week rolls along. Let's look outside right now. Average high 42. We were above that today. Look at uh, 52 in Milwaukee. As far as tomorrow, there are some uh, lower to even upper 50s. We'll be somewhere in the middle of that for tomorrow. Those are some pretty nice temperatures for this time of year, way above average. Uh, even right now, it's above average in Green Bay at 43. Uh, same with Sturgeon Bay right now in Sheboygan, 45 in Appleton. Either way you cut it, we have a pretty nice night going on out there. Now, satellite and radar, we're also quiet. This week, a little disturbance passing, a few clouds through. It doesn't look like it's going to bring us rain, and if you would see a stray sprinkle, it would be few and far between. But as far as your Sunday, a few clouds passing on by, but most of the day should be just fine dry. It's a little bit breezy out there. That's the only downfall. Now, here's a look at precision cast going through the night. Not much green showing up there, which means as this disturbance passes by, mainly brings us just a few clouds. More mild conditions for your Sunday. Uh, as far as winds out of the south, a little bit southeast if you live right by Lake Michigan, cooling down there. Here comes our next week disturbance for Monday afternoon. Could bring us a stray sprinkle or shower into Monday night. Again, that is nothing to worry about. And for tonight, 33 partly cloudy skies. Not bad out there. Sunday, 55. Partly cloudy, that's going to be mild and a little bit breezy. I'm not talking about a high wind by any means. 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the south. A little bit cooler by Lake Michigan. Sunday night, partly cloudy. 36 degrees, keeping it quiet. And Monday, maybe a stray afternoon sprinkle or shower as that weak front passes on through. Most of the day is going to be just fine. That same with Monday night. As we go through Tuesday, looking dry, comfortable. A Wednesday and Thursday, Look at those temperatures, so nice. Most of this upcoming week, Cassandra, looking pretty quiet, which is great for this holiday week.